Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another goal making video. In this video, this will be slightly different as it is a announcement slash update video that my version 2 of my free TSM profile is officially available. Now, I do want to say before people instantly import this group and kind of click off this video, I know you guys, I do want to say that I highly recommend at least watching a little bit of this video. It is going to explain basically the changes that have occurred and also the things that you probably need to tweak to make sure that it is working the best on your server. Now, if you are a new player, do not be scared. These simple things that you have to adjust is super simple. There's basically like three of them that you might have to change. So once again, I highly recommend watching this video. It will give you updates to the people who are currently using my profile, and it will also kind of walk you through how exactly this profile is set up for the new people. But Either way, a little bit further into this video, I will talk about exactly how to get this group and import it into your game, since some people had questions about that, so that will be a little bit later. But without further ado, I am going to introduce the profile. So I have basically just named this profile Penguin, just to make it simple and to, if you guys have multiple profiles, then hopefully this will stand out that it is mine. But this is primarily only for Shadowlands. So if you are somebody who does not have Shadowlands or you're not selling Shadowlands items, this profile will definitely not be for you. The primary focus, while it has some old world items in it, most of the focus is strictly on Shadowlands current content. But the simple breakdown should be very similar to the current one. There has not been any big major group changes. As you see, we have Shadowlands, which breaks down into each different profession. We have all of the materials grouped. We have a little bit of Old World, which we'll get into. Then we have Legendaries and Crafter's Marks. So if you're somebody who is basically not into any of these type of Old World, if you're into Transmog, anything like that, this profile will probably not help you out. But the goal of this profile is to give anybody, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, hopefully this will be a simple profile, which you can use if you'd like. Now, in terms of the base changes that have happened, I have added Corthite Crystals into the materials. This was not there earlier. However, I have officially grouped it into materials, and also I've created this own Vestige tab. Also with materials, I have added the operation. Previously, since I personally did not sell materials on the auction house, I did not have a auctioning operation on these and it was kind of messing people up. So now I have put in an auctioning operation, which is basically using 90% DB market. You're selling 500 of them for about 12 hours. So of course you can go in and adjust that if you like, but an auctioning operation is now set. Moving on, we now have the Druid Glyphs, which have been added. These are the glyphs that we got in 9.1.5. So the eight new or the seven new marks plus the one glyph has now been added and they also have their own restock operations. So if you guys have not been selling these or you don't have an operation for them, hopefully this will help. Also, I have added a Mage Tower section in Old World. Now, when you are seeing this video, it will be December 30th, and the Mage Tower will disappear in January 4th. However, you know, at least you now have this group, so you can either try to sell the stuff on the off-season if you want, or you will have it ready for the next time the Mage Tower comes around. And of course, you'll have it for about four or five days, depending on when you watch this video. So of course, this won't be 100% useful within like the next two weeks, but hopefully whenever the Mage Tower comes back, you already have a group ready for it. The additional thing, which this will be the extra setup you need to do, is if you are actively selling Dreadful Gladiator gear for Mage Tower, you will have to add these yourself. The reason behind this is that the base group um, in searching for Dreadful Gladiator gear, it's very hard to get the correct item level due to the relics that we're using. And because of that, and personally, I do not own all recipes for all these items, I am definitely missing some. 
Most of this is just plate gear anyways. So what you guys will have to do is simply change this to item level and then select all the items in your bags and then just add them to this group. So that is the one tiny setup that you do have to do if you sell these items. But either way, we have drums added. We have all of the different types of gems. We have the greater inscriptions as well as the scrolls. And all of these have their own operation for crafting and for auctioning. Now, that is really the huge main changes of this group. Just for the people who have not used this group previously, this is basically just a very simple system of operations. Now, of course, some of these are a little bit specific in terms of green crafter's gear and blue crafter's gear, but most items in terms of auctioning operations fall between kind of these sets right here. And so just to give you an idea of exactly what this means, if we click on this, this means the whatever it is, the 12 hour or the 24 hour is the auction duration. Then the number on the end is the post cap. So for this, this is saying that you're posting 200 at a time. And then that 115% simply represents minimum price. So looking at these without even having to click on them, this is for posting for 12 hours, 11 of them at 115% crafting minimum. Moving on, we have this one, which you're also posting at 12 hours, but you're only posting one and you're posting at 120% crafting minimum. So that is truly how these operations are set up. Depending on what they are attached to, you can look right here for like the general big stuff. So flask, potions, you know, large meals, armor kits, etc. all kind of fall under the category of 200. Then also crafting follows that same type of thing. Of course, some of these are unique in terms of legendaries, enchants, crafters gear, but most of these items also fall in this kind of restocking category, which is very similar to the auction house in that that you know the max restock quantity is that first number and then the percentage is your minimum profit so for this one you're restocking 200 at a 15 percent crafting profit so hopefully that makes sense of course if you guys want a more complete breakdown i will leave you a link to my first video that's releasing this profile it is very long which i'm trying to make this video short but it goes in depth to every single operation to hopefully give you a better understanding and you can adjust it to your needs. Now, the second thing that you will want to do is set up your mailing operations. Now, this group will come with zero of them because I don't want you to accidentally forget about them, try to use them, and then you accidentally either send all of your stuff to me or to a random person. Now, of course, that would be awesome if you guys send me your stuff, but that will probably not be good for you. So if you guys do want to set up a mailing operation, all you have to do is click this button. You can rename it to, let's say, or whatever you want. Just type in your player name. Then simply go down here, add operation, and then simply find what you want to mail off. So for example, I named this or. So I can go down here, select or, there we go. And then now I have a mailing operation set up. So that is really simple. Of course, if you need to send everything, let's say you have a bank tune and you send everything there, all you have to do is go in here, you can select the whole profile and it will send everything you need to there. So that is the second thing that you need to set up if it's something that you like to use. And then guys, that is basically it. I mean, I did say there are three things that you have to adjust, but the third one would probably be just, you know, adjusting some prices and some profit margins, depending on how they suit you. For example, personally, like in chance, I like to have 50 gold profit. Some people like to do percentages. Some people like hard coded values. So if there's something like you can adjust this to whatever you need and etc. So Hopefully this will help you guys out. This is the profile I have personally been using for the past week and previously I have been using my own profile. So this is something that I personally trust and use myself. Um, 
just to show you guys if I were to run a restock. So if I go in here, go into the TSM groups, and let's say I want to restock, let's say I want to restock Mage Tower stuff, and then I wanted to restock Alchemy, Enchanting, Inscription, Leatherworking, something like that. I can click all of this stuff, hit restock, and there we go. It will queue up all the potions that we need, all of the different gear, enchants, all of the inscription stuff, joy crafting, leatherworking, etc., and etc. And as you can see, based on all of our parameters, I can make an about a million gold, investing about half a million. So basically, doubling my cost. And then it will take about two hours of crafting time. So yeah, guys, as long as you import this, this is good to go. To the folks who need to know how to import this, inside of my Discord, once you join my Discord, you will have a little captcha. A bot will send you, just fill that out to be verified, into my Discord, and then there will be a free tools section. Then there will be a link to my TSM profile. You will just click on that. It will be a control C link, which all you have to do is copy the text. Then, once the text is copied, go into your slash TSM. If you already are using a profile, I highly recommend creating a new one. This will make sure that your current profile is not modified or touched in any way that, you know, might break it or anything. So you can simply just type in a new profile name, then go under groups, import group, and simply paste. After that, Depending on your computer, it might freeze for a second, but just let it import and then hit OK and you're good to go. Of course, if you guys have any problems, please do not hesitate to contact me, whether that's through the Discord, in the comments down below, or anything like that. I really hope you guys are enjoying this profile to the people who have been using it. To the new people, I hope this can help you out with your gold making journey. Of course, if you have any suggestions on what to add for this profile, please let me know. I'm always open for suggestions for version 3, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please join the Discord if you want to join our community. Also, I do have a Patreon if you want to support me monetarily. Of course, it is not necessary whatsoever, but thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day.